Today on the Spec Show, we're going to go over the startup procedures for the Petrogen Cutting Torch. So we're starting with the startup procedure for the Petrogen Cutting Torch. The Petrogen Cutting Torch is an oxy gasoline uh, cutting system that we use in the USAR environment. This is the basic fuel can of our, of our cutting torch. It's got a lid to put fuel in, it's got a valve to open up the fuel to the cutting torch, and it's got a hand pump that you, we pump it up with. On most of our torch, uh, cutting torch um, size tips, or tip sizes, we're going to operate this torch about 20 PSI. So we want to make sure we're in that 20 PSI range. If we start having trouble with our cutting torch operating, we want to check the gauge first and make sure that we got enough pressure in it. If it's not got enough pressure, all we have to do is pump it up several times and get pressure into the torch. Okay, to start up the uh, Petrogen Oxygasoline Cutting Torch, pretty simple process here. It's uh, not as uh, easy to explain as like the oxy acetylene torch is, but it's still pretty simple. Right here we have the oxygen valve, and if we're going to start with the oxygen valve on the uh, petrogen torch, you can see it's got a plus and minus on it. We're just going to turn this a half turn, 180 degrees. So take the plus and put it where the minus is, and that oxygen should be flowing at that point out of the tip. You should be able to hear it. Then we're going to adjust the fuel here until we get a mist of fuel coming out of the end. You can see we got mist of fuel coming out of the end. We're going to take our igniter and we're going to light that fuel. And we're just going to let it sit on the steel. Very important, we don't, we're not adjusting anything, but we're letting that sit on the steel. What has to happen is that flame has to heat up this, this tip right here because that's what's vaporizing the fuel and it needs the heat to vaporize it. As you can see, it cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm going to start adjusting my flame using fuel only. I'm never going to touch the oxygen again. I'm going to use fuel only and I'm going to leave it on the steel and I'm going to adjust that fuel until I get these bright orange starbursts coming out of there. And I want those starbursts to be about an inch and a half to two inches long. And once I get those bright orange starbursts coming out of there, I'm just moving around so I can see those orange starbursts. Once I get that done, I'm good to burn, with, uh, burn my steel. This is not a pretty flame like it would be with oxyacetylene, but this is a cutting flame that we can use for our petrogen torch. For the Spec Show, I'm Jack Reel, Task Force Leader, Ohio Task Force One, and Spec Rescue Instructor. To find out more information about Spec International, your solutions expert, give us a call at 757-468-4513 or check out our website at www.specrescue.com.